ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another series of Age of Empires 3, the Definitive Edition. My name is Harrison and we are back in week number one of the ESOC Challenge Cup, the tournament for the top 16 players in the 1v1 ELO ladder at the moment and we're in for a great series as always. This is part of Group D, we're having Migo 1999 taking on Soldier. First map is going to be Cam Chatska. It looks like Soldier in the color red will be playing as the Lakota Civilization. His opponent, Migo, in the color blue blames the Germans. Soldier already running into the middle of the map with his very fast Explorer picking up the four goats. Migo has come in with Explorer, not even going for his in-base macaque. He's just... Like, he has gone for his in-base macaque, but uh, no goats. Oh, no, it is a goat still. Oh, it's unfortunate to see uh, right off the bat. So it looks like if we go into Migo's point of view, mark it down to start off the game. Chopping wood for hunting dogs. He's going to have enough coin to buy the remainder uh, wood for a house. So that's the German macro going on. Uh, Migo has managed to pick up two goats away from the Lakota Explorer, which is probably against the run of play, as you'd expect. Um, Seems 80 wood treasure. He doesn't. He hasn't incorporated it into his macro, but it's always a nice treasure to have for transition. Uh, meanwhile... Ooh, Soldier going for a mid-map trading post versus Germany. Did, um... Oh, I can't get the chat up. I was about to say, did uh, Soldier go for a couple of wood treasures and then uh, drop the TP on the wood, or did he chop uh, for that himself? So, uh, we'll have to see. Has chopped about, looks like 50, 55 there, and about 30 wood, so maybe a small wood treasure, but chopped the remainder to get that trading post down. <laughs> Soldier's Explorer name, I'm Lame, Sumi, has come in. And he actually stole back uh, a couple of those goats from Migo. Uh, but it looks like those goats are now sat around Freitag the pet macaque and keep them alive. And actually, if Freitag sits too close to the goats, the area damage might actually uh, kill a few of these goats here. So he's got to be careful for that. He's just sitting around. Uh, both players, they do have a crack shot ability to take down the tiger. So I think it's in Soldier's interest just to wait a little bit and see if he can take that treasure after picking off Freitag. Treasure contention coming in. Is he going to go for it? That Explorer crack shot's going to come in. The German's going to go for the crack shot, and Sue wasn't looking. Uh, so it looks like Germany's going to pick up a 40 wood. So, so far, 120 wood in treasures. A uh, nice start here for Migo. Obviously, he does have his house down, and he does have his hunting dogs behind this. Sue goats top side. Found by Freitag the Pet Macaque, there is another goat nearby for him to pick up. He does have five goats already, five goats compared to uh, Migos, just the four. So uh, only one remaining goat on the map left for taking. Likely to be picked up by the Lakota player very, very soon. 17 vils in queue, about to pop out, 100 food short. Just going to kill one of these goats just to try and get that food income as fast as possible to age up with as minimum idle time. And we're going to see Migo aging up now to the next stage. Meanwhile, Soldier, 16 will age up here. He's not going, to go, going for the 15 will age up, as I'd say is probably the standard timing. But he did chop some wood for that trading post, so slightly slower age up. He's aging up here. The Messenger, though, so he's gone for the fast age up, which was nerfed in a recent patch to be slightly slower by 10 seconds. But Messenger age up. Chopping wood. If you've gone for a mid-map TP, I'm expecting a secondary safe TP here. Soldier may be going Colonial. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. We may see some Colonial. And look at his deck. He does have a full um, stack of 10 cards in the second stage, as you expect. Double wood cards stand out to me, as well as having both the clubs and the seat and bows. No dog soldiers here for Soldier. Uh, looking at Migo's deck, let's see what he's got playing with him here. He does have three set of wagons, no two set of wagons, double wood, double coin, uh, all three military shipments in the second age. I don't often have that myself when I play Germany. The standard rack of cards in the third age, uh, no guard hussars in the fourth or the six set of wagons. At the moment, Soldier throwing down his tribal marketplace, the building you need to throw down for you to 
be able to gather coin. Uh, sent in first card here for Axe Riders and has gone for a second uh, trading post. So he's having to chop a lot of wood here to get that second trading post in transition and likely uh, to throw down a stable unless soldiers try and do some sort of aggro play to idle the German player of an age up behind. But uh, I often always go for the wood age up when I'm playing Lakota. So I'll have to see what soldier can do with these uh, five cavalry units, one being the explorer. But I think Miko's going to be fine. Um, in base barracks, uh, one villager slightly exposed. Let's look into Migo's line of sight. What can he see? Can he see much? He doesn't. I'm not too sure the explorers even scouted the units. Does see the car coming down now, thinking he's got time. He doesn't anticipate any units on the field, but little does he know, cavalry is charging across the map as we speak. I'm going to come into Migo's base right now. One villager quite far away. Uh, villager on this hunt as well, quite far away. The town bell has been rung. Okay, not literally, but. Essentially, every, all the villagers um, got in except these two far hunts. This is so smart, this is. Look at that. Pulling the villager away. Just because in case soldier moves out in this direction, which Migo can see, he can certainly then move the villager away to anticipate that. It's just it's just these little micro decisions, I think. It's so um, cool. Unfortunately, though, that villager can go back into the path of Axe Riders. So everything I just said, scrap that. <laughs> Um, but actually, keeping the Axe Riders interested with the two Ulan and the one villager alive, and the Pikes will come in. Actually, he's going to trade the Pikes for an Axe Rider here. That's going to be quite nice. Uh, one Ulan still staring the Axe Riders, and the Pikemen are coming uh, thick and fast behind. Uh, looks like the soldiers are going to have to uh, peel off one of his units to actually push them back and <laughs> use an Explorer to push back the infantry and then the Axe Riders to pull trick the Explorer away. That is some high level micro there. Very, very nice. Um, eight cut. Eight set of wagons here from Migo. That's his first card. 700 wood, second card incoming behind this. Not too sure these players played on the A's um, UI mod. I'll have to check that. This looks to be just regular Kamchatka, so maybe that was something addressed in the future games. I'll have, I'll have a check in between if I can get that up. Soldier though, train another batch of five Axe Riders here for the second batch. Going to pick off Explorer. So nine picking up that AT coin. He doesn't get up in time. Eight Axe Riders and the Sioux Explorer should dominate the five pikemen there. And only one bow reinforcements from Migo. Uh, not what he needs at the moment. What's he going to do? The 700 woods coming in behind now. Five pikes being trained. Let's look at Soldier and see how he's... Oh, I've got my friend with folk colors on. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> I just changed the the um, player perspective. I was like, why is... Why are they fl uh, switching? But no, Migo's playing teal as he always does, and soldiers in red. So my uh, color chart up the top right is looking a little bit silly now, but oh well, could be worse. <laughs> well, Bow Rider's out from Soldier as well. It does suggest he wants to stay down this age quite a bit. I still don't see the market though, and when he's got 18 villagers hunting. I think a market would have been quite nice at some point, but that's because he's had to chop uh, 200 wood for the trading post and 200 for the stable and transition. He just can't afford it, as well as the 25 for the um, ability to mine coins. So all these little decisions to build in transition are just really hurting soldiers' ability now to actually get the market down for the hunting dogs upgrade, which is so crucial here for Lakota. And is actually keeping soldiers somewhat interested in staying in that second age. Right, this card coming in to be crucial. It's six seat and bows. Wow, no, I was not expecting to see seat and bows coming in from a uh, soldier here. And it will take a while for them to cross the map. There's no Ford War Hut at this point. Meanwhile, Migo, three set of wagons, 700 wood, going into 700 coin now at this point. 700 coin, going to use that age up, already banking 1100 to. Nearly 1,200 food. Uh, all his villagers are nice, saved up and ga gathering. Nice, cute little bit of wall in here as well. Just to try and um, obscure some path in. I like how, in the meantime, he's got all his units just sat in between the trees and the houses. Just in case Sue just essentially push all their units in. Uh, the path in there won't be kind for Soldier. Migo's got his coin in. Migo's aging up. German lead, the German... Trading post is still up actually, so for all this pressure soldier has on the map, I think Migo's looking in a fine spot at the moment.
Right, Soldier's going to need to do something now. He's actually got trained five Thetans, so he does have to... He has a war house somewhere. Where, where is it? Does he? I'm not going... I'm not going crazy. How many seats have you got? Six. Oh, it's the bow rider icon. My apologies. I just saw a man with a bow thinking another seat and bow has been trained. But actually, there's nine bow riders out in the field. 14 axe. Uh, there's still the six seat and bows. And they will be good at picking off the pikemen. Maybe Miko wants to train a couple dops in transition. Well, actually, transition. He's already in the next stage. And the war wagon's in queue. But they do take a long time to train, though. This is a crucial part of the game here. Can soldier break in and pick off Miko's army? Will Miko be able to hold out? Bow's focusing down one of the bow riders, getting nice damage there. Orlando's going to meet them, try and snare them. Maybe Minutemen being called behind this. Does have the resources available, but does need more coin if he wants to get a big batch of uh, war wagons out. A couple of pikes moving forward, but getting picked off. And so far, good trades here for Soldier. Just picking off units uh, while taking the training post. And is Soldier going to back off here? I think that's a very, very um, cautious decision here from Soldier, which I do, I do like. Um, He's seen the pikes, he's seen the houses and the path in. He knows that shipment is coming from Migo and that first batch of fortress units, which are the five skirmishes and likely to be four veteran war, waggers, war wagons uh, coming out. And the soldier's just going to pull back. He does have his units intact, and so that means he can choose to age up and upgrade them. 1,700 food. Does have the market. Should be selling off the food now to get that age up in. And I think Soldier is going to try and go for a timing push in that Fortress Age. A double War Hut being thrown down as well. So that was on the 700 wood. So five vil, seven, no, so four axes. I haven't got Aces mod, I don't actually know, to be honest. <laughs> I've got to be honest now, I've lost track. But there was uh, certainly the four axes to start off with. Uh, five vils as a second shipment would make very much sense. Probably massed off the 700 coin, then sent six Setons. And now aging up. Yeah, didn't even have 600 coins to pivot off uh, the age up. So the pressure's coming in. So Migo moving across the map with Ulans. Pikes, scums, and war wagons. Uh, 12 colonial Ulans here. The upgrade is coming in. And he still has the eight pikemans. The fact that there's crossbows mixed with skirmishes as well to pick off any of the bow riders. Uh, where are the bow riders? Did they go for a raid? Must have missed if a raid happened. A couple of villagers here on low HP, but the actual the push uh, from Migo is coming thick and fast into Soldier's base at the moment. It's up to Soldier to react to this. The one war hut went down, a second war hut, war hut will go down, and that means no Wakina production. But if Migo picks off this corral, that means no upgrades, and that would be even uh, a larger swing into Migo's advantage. Soldier pulling his bows back. Migo. Is he just sent a shipment? He needs to have something on the uh, field for momentum. He's got one shipment coming in now. And that's going to be his second shipment there. The three war wagons. Axe is pushing forwards. There's only the three war wagons here and the tw uh, 11 veteran Ulans. They will pick off two or three vills here. That's very, very nice. Let's look at Soldier. He's he's aging, he's aging slow because he aged fast to the second age. What is what is this? I, I've, I fought Soldiers in the middle next age, but... I... A yes, aging messengers is the second age means you can age faster the third age and soldiers still in the second age. How have I not caught on to this? Migo should just turn in and just keep on putting the uh, pressure on. He's aged with the bison. That is a very greedy age up. He could have even aged up with the uh, 1,000 food or the ooh, four axe riders, I could uh, I believe. But uh, Migo's just taking his time and taking the TP in the middle of the map, uh, waiting for another shipment from himself. Shipment has popped out. Three war wagons. Now has 14 vets Ulans on the field. 16 skirmishers. Soon to be 21. And another batch of Ulans coming in. Does have population to get a full batch here. So that's really, really good macro here from Migo. And the German power ball is just getting stronger and stronger. And Soldier, he does have that one stable. His decision is, what does he upgrade? Does he go for the bows? Does he go for the axe? His decision is to upgrade the axe riders. Has a saying, why would you ever age up with the 1k food over bison, uh, noob? Well, I, I see impending doom coming here uh, for Soldier from Migo. Does he have time to gather all the bisons? Uh, he does have a couple sh one sheep still available. Maybe that 1k food could allow Soldier to get a really early 
big button with four dog soldiers. Not the greatest big button it would be, but still a big button nevertheless. And Soldier just getting his next shipment from that trading post. Uh, what's he going to send? Migo's still being quite sensitive here. It is a tournament game, so I do appreciate that. And yeah, there's a three dog soldiers coming in. But this gives Soldier time to upgrade another set of units on a single uh, corral. So he's got elite axes. Bow riders are still um, colonial. 19 bow riders. You need to upgrade this. This is priority. And he's going to do that now. And yes, elite bow is coming in. And Migo's going for another TP. But mm, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm just not sure the, on the priorities here from Migo. Is he maybe waiting for like a Jaeger or Black Rider shipment? Oh, he's waiting for Cav Combat. And that's a nice decision as well. Community Plaza has dropped down here from Soldier. So War Dance is a possibility. And looking at Soldier's macro... Doesn't have any wood available for some defensive TPs to boost his unit's HP. That would, could be quite nice versus German if they're going to overcommit. Axe is going for a do or die raid, actually. They're trying to find coin miners. He senses that both the in base coin mines are out. Uh, two coin miners to the south are his next options. Going to go for mid map, but scouted here by the veteran war wagons. Has to pull back. He knows the German reinforcements are coming in thick and fast. Uh, but Soldier, he's. he's outmasked Migo in this local area. He's going to take off these war wagons, but actually Migo's rubbing his hands. He's got Ulans coming in, and if the snare happens, he's got Ulans from the south, Ulans from the north. Come on, get get the snare off. This is the crucial moment. Could even move war, war wagons up to the north and cut the entire army off. Uh, it does pick off about a four, three or four axe warriors there, but I think Soldier managed to get out relatively unscathed. Optimus Prime donating $2. Hey, all my ESOC friends. Uh, nice to see you, Opti. Very looking forward to seeing your first tournament series. I believe it will be tomorrow evening, dependent on NA casters. If not, it'll be midweek. And I'm sure you had a great series, or will have a great series, versus Hazard or H. First trouble marketplace uh, expired. We'll have to build a second marketplace to get onto the coin. 700 coin remaining. Cav Combat coming in for Migo, no, for Soldier. Migo has his Cav Combat on his units, but Soldier doesn't. And this is going to be the time when I think Migo wants to exploit. And Soldier is just going to sit back as far as he can to try and buy time for this big um, power spike of his own when he gets his Cav Combat coming in. Looking at Migo, uh, he's trained more wagons, skirmishes, no shipments uh, on the way being sent. Look, current mass 27 war wagons, 9 skirm. War wag 27 Ulans, 9 war wagons, and not the four bows, the 25 skirmishers uh, in comparison to Soldier. He does have 29 elite bows and 14 elite axes, but he's gathering the food for a potential big button at the moment. But he's got 25 dancers dancing for, dancing for experience at the moment. Doesn't need war dance because he's not actually fighting, so at least, he, at least there's some good micro on the um, dance at the community plaza happening. It's so close when you when you got like 800 food. It's so close to getting that big button and the big button for Cav Combat and War Dance that could be enough to crush Migo's army here. Cav HP is next card, and I like how soldiers dancing for experience to upgrade his army. He's thinking maybe another another five bow riders here is nice, but getting some more cards on these units is even nicer. So this um this game's kind of like. Bo boiling up to that. It's like one big engagement and at the moment Migo's quite happily gathering. He's not down on resources. He's moved down to the southern mine. He's only got placer mines. No amalgamation just yet. Probably won't be getting amalgamation this game. Does have gang sword. Does have his great coats. Does have his great coats. So I'm a happy bunny. Skirmish is prodding in once again. Migo having 28 that learns Cav combat. No arsenal text though. But it's the skirmish that's going to put the pressure on. And actually, looking at Soldier's resource count, that big button is so close. He's on 1,350. And if he had an extra 150 food... Oh, he's got... Is he bought? He's just bought some food. He's got enough. I think maybe Migo sold some food at a good price to actually get the coin. But there's enough coin for Soldier to go dog Soldier big button. 1,500 food. He's got to call it. He's got to call it now. He then's got time to wait for the 18... Minute for the extra dog soldier. That TC is under critical threat at the moment. Soldier positioning his units down to the south, trying to catch any reinforcements. 
the, the big button's been called. I think he's realised that he's needs, he needs them now. He's going to go in. And where's the bows? Bows need to come in as well. He's cancelling. He's, he's trying. He's trying his hardest for the extra dog soldier. I don't know. Oh, this is going to be so tight. If if like 57, 58, 59, he's got the timing. He's got that timing down. And that's an extra dog soldier on the field. Everybody's not dancing. There's only seven dancers here from Lacosta just yet. 30 idle vills. But here come the 26 elite. Uh, bow rise, double carded, cap HP, cap combat, dogs on top of the skirmishers, tanking a lot of the war wagon fire. Yeah, all the villagers getting on now, but actually, this mass of bow riders is actually, I think it's going to be the king um, maker in this fight. These bow riders are just, they're so strong units, and I've seen many games of just pure bow riders uh, ripping through armies. It's close, though, it's close. 18 bows remaining from soldier. Let's look to Migo's perspective. 19 skirmishers, does have 9 war wagons. Reinforcements coming across the map is just a five Ulans, and actually Ulans versus pure uh, bow riders, it's uh, not exactly five skirm or five war wagon. And there's a three dog soldier shipment from soldier as well. So actually, the dogs can just go straight onto the skirmishers and two shot kill these units. And the bow riders are quite happy focusing down the war wagons. <laughs> Has soldier done this? I, I thought he was down for the cow ages ago, but what a great engagement soldiers had, especially with the fire pit behind this. 25% bonus in unit attack and the bow rider with that's the rifle rider but the bow rider with 28 range attack there okay he has changed to the war chiefs but I believe it was around that kind of 35 area so uh, real strong units the only thing I'd say though at the moment was the fight's gone in soldiers favor but the eco it's a European eco and he's still on the map gathering and he's still moving on between coin mines quite happily Migo has the opportunity to remass, and I think he will get a decent mass to have a second uh, fight into the Dog Soldiers and Bow Riders. That five rifles there from... No, it's four rifles. Four rifles here from Soldier. He did have access to Cav damage, and he does have 15... Like he, he has nine Wakinas still to pop as well. I think the nine Wakinas could have been a um, very nice sh shipment the only thing the rifles counter here is the ulans if you've already got a massive bow riders you don't actually need the um rifle riders it's not like Mega's going to attack into doppel soldiers or lance connect batch of five axes uh to plunder the side <laughs> stable cheeky he had to rebuild it somewhere i guess but managed to get out alive uh, Mega going to push in try and put pressure on this second production building and soldiers going to go for the cav raid oh no oh god the German army is on the opposite side of the map, and Sue are just doing what they do best, and that's just move across the map at lightning speed. Uh, one set of wagon, two vills, another set of wagon likely to go down. Um, a nice attempt to ward, but it'd be very hard to actually fully close off that path in a matter of seconds. And a reaction's got to be forced here from Migo, and he's going in with his five Ulan, uh, five war wagons. He does have about nine Ulans there, eight skirms. There's <laughs> there's no resources here for a soldier, but he does have the town centre still on 2.8. KHP, five, um, five axes, but all those bills getting picked off there from Migo. Migo's now down to 31 villagers in total. I believe that's villagers total, not villager population. Eight war wagons still, 12 lands. That town centre's going down, and soldier needs to protect these villagers as they move off from the town centre onto hunting. Um, not often you'd see a native sieve getting the um, spirit medicine, so the villager HP and combat card. Big fight happening here. Bow Rise engaging on the Ulans. Ulans just going straight in. They don't know where to click. They've got clicking in any units they can. But the reinforcing batch of skirmishers just focusing down the Bow Rise as they come in. Um, actually, I think the German mass over here is just going to overwhelm the local forces of Soldier. I don't see Soldier getting any more reinforcements. His eco is, well, it's it's been pretty battered and starting to run out of. Um, resources, but Cav Combat War Wagons focusing down the remaining bow riders, and now it just needs one or two Ulans to close the game off from the villagers. And the GG there has been called. It looks like Soldier picking up game one versus Migo. No, Migo pick up game one versus Soldier. <laughs> oh my, Migo, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was. It was. What was Migo, wasn't it? <laughs> Lol. So the player two is. Go. Let's get that. Give him a big number one. He deserves that one. 1-0 one to Migo so far.
quick look at the post game. Uh, villager, let's go with villager populations. We are playing as the Germans here. Fast age up here for soldier. Age up with 16 vil um, with messenger. Usually I like to age up with 15 vils with the 400 wood. And then when soldier went for the um, age up to the fortress stage, he just didn't have that fast age politician. I think there was an opportunity here for Migo to really uh, put some pressure on before those upgrades came in once he did age up. But Migo. Confident that he idled some of the eco, picked off some villagers, soldiers in base resources starting to run out. That remass potential from Migo was able to uh, get out on the map and um, able to remass. And you see the massive fight. It was a great fight in the end for Soldier, especially with the cav, double cav cards, uh, the war chief tanking, and the war dance as well. But just that remass I was able to come back in. And so the veteran skirmishers. Uh, picking off the bow riders, but yeah, there's just so, there's just the tension, the tension from essentially ten minutes onwards of when this clash with the Titans was going to happen. And <laughs> Soldier won it, but the uh, follow-up, he won the battle, but Miko won the war there. Right, let's go into game number two. I'm going to check my Discord to see if everything's okay before we get everything's okay. All right, back into the game. Kaiser kind of dropping $2 there. Thanks to Ethos for hosting the tournament, but I will win. I'm still the best. I have a feeling that's not the actual Kaiser client with that message, but if it is, Kaiser, you're so kind and generous. You've got such a good heart. You're such a, such a plus for the community. I'm glad to have you on board. All right, game number two. We have Soldier... Uh, once again, playing as the Lakota Civilization, he's going to be spawning to the north side of the map in the color uh, dark blue, or just let's say blue regularly. Uh, Migo spawning to the south in the color teal, playing as the Spanish, and Migo won the last game. So his first pick was Spain, which I think is a really smart pick on this map. Soldier going for the Lakota counter pick. For some reason, in my mind, I've I've got Spain be like an awkward counter for. Uh, Sue, but I suppose uh, Sue at the moment is a very strong sieve. They do. Oh, trading post fight. Who's going to go for it? <laughs> is it going to go? Oh, it's a bug. Is this a is this a DE bug? Oh, he's actually building it. Oh my god. <laughs> Migo must have clicked the trading post, but decided to walk around the um, horse of the soldiers explorer just to observe all its fine angles before actually constructing. The soldier was so close to actually dropping the foundation himself. That is so close. Um, the war dog comes in fighting the native explorer and pushing soldier on and I suppose all the fighting has denied Miga the first pass and actually the winner the winner of that TP war was soldier how is that even possible <laughs> delay Miga's TP and now soldier's going to get the first pass of experience when it comes around again <laughs> Kaiser Klein dropping another two dollars thank you very much if it is the real Kaiser Klein, very appreciated and maybe lining in his own pocket. But I think the prize pool has already been defined for this tournament. Just be lining your future pocket in future tournaments, which we always appreciate. Right, back into the game. Looks like Migo won a house. 14 out of 20. I think he's going to age up. 16, 20. I, I, I was listening to Ryan Manquist stream and he was saying how... Going for a training post early in Spain, it's quite hard to get the 15 vil age up on time. So let's see how Migo plays this. In the meantime, Soldier, he's running back to his base with his Explorer. Uh, nice holding under his town center. Uh, probably wants to get this one bison. Now that this bison's on its own, it's a singular animal and it just wanders off even more annoying. It's, there's only one animal to herd, so it's quite hard to get it back in. He's going to do that right now, so yes, nice that Soldier's on top of his early. Um, eco management always good to see the four village is going to come in uh, if he kills that bison puts all the four vills on that would be very nice um yeah he's, he's going to kill it and yeah that's some really good that's some really nice eco management there just to try and avoid all the villager bumping i appreciate that looks like migo the shepherd is going to bring in free sheep from the middle of the map because why not the sheep are blocking the native scout from punching down the explorer because of high level plays of course, as he would. 
Uh, <laughs> I think Soldier tried to go into... Um... He actually went into cover mode there. That is really cool. I thought for a second Soldier was going to try to go invisible and try and get out of the sight and maybe forgetting explorers would uncover it. But he went cover mode there and actually survived with 5 HP. That is very, very nice as well. Both these players having some really cool tricks up their sleeves so far. Right, age up this time. Uh, Soldier, once again, age up with the messenger to the, to the second age. He wants to chop a lot of wood. Is he going to go for a second TP? I don't think he is this game. I have a feeling he's just going to go for the one military building and play from there, but I don't actually know. Two villagers moving forward. Is this going to be a forward war hut? For Bo Pike, contestion of the middle trading line. Let's see Miko's playing. Is he going for an ATP play style? He has ATP in already. Uh, one villager chopping wood near the trading post. Soldier hasn't seen Migos explore on the far right, dropping down a TP. And he does have the wood available. He needs to go in and drop the foundation. He is doing that right. Go, go, do it, do it. We're going. No. No, the shift click. The shift click bug. Oh, no. Because Soldier's going to see this. He's going to turn back. Does he have the wood for a TP of his own? He doesn't. That's okay. Pa panic over. Uh, there could have been an opportunity for Soldier to steal the trading post from himself. But in the meantime, Ford War Hut, seven clubs being sent. Maybe Soldier's actually timed this so the clubs pop from the War Hut. That would be quite nice. Be a very nice timing. Uh, Medicine Man forwards uh, 360 HP worth of tank. That is so. Wow, why is the healer so buff? Like, out of all the characters in the game, why is it the healer the buffest person around? I need to write a mess, um, email to the developers asking why is this healer so buff? Puts the Spanish Explorer to shame, he does. Alright, coin coming in from uh, Migo. Defensive tower. Age up with the governor here, looks like. What's Migo's first ship going to be? Five villagers going for a somewhat of a um, semi FF. The five vills first has been popularized, but the war clubs do pop from the war hut and has timed it so that the outpost is going to take quadruple damage before it's completed. Minutemen come up from Migo, but he just found one of the war clubs going to cover mode actually. That outpost is down already. He won't have enough siege to deal with the town center, but I think Migo might need to rethink if he's going to be able to survive a naked FF here if soldiers can continue the um, attack. Um, that club was running away with his club raised behind him, maybe for aerodynamics. I don't know, but he's got managed to get out there alive. Native scout goes down, but a healer with three. <laughs> the heal, I... the healer could literally take this entire Spanish army down. I'm not even joking at this point. This is actually quite funny. That would be really funny if that was the case. Come on, use the healer. Uh, it, to be fair, the war hut's going to pick up the um, units anyway, so it's no big deal. Uh, Incan Hua Minka being picked up from Migo, and actually could get a, a few attacks on this Sioux Explorer, which is quite nice, because it does do uh, 45 per swing, so certainly a lot of extra damage there that the Sioux Explorer was taking. Four axes moving in. All of them just being built up once again. Wood being dropped. Rax has to be abandoned. It's not going to get up. Be Soldier's going to pick up one villager. Migo's going to try and get his barracks down, but I, th I think Sol I think Migo thinks Soldier's seen it. He hasn't yet, but he has now. And so, yeah, he has to bar abandon the barracks. He's going to siege the barracks down because you don't want to get let your opponent get that up. And Migo is actually confined at the moment. He's he's in his base. He's confined. He's not aging up yet. He sent the five villas first over the 700 coin, but I don't think he would have got up anyway. Maybe with the sheep, possibly. Rod's about to pop, but there's so many war clubs here from Soldier. He's got 16 war clubs, and he's now sending six seat and bow behind this. Rodolero Pop does come out from Migo, and actually in hand combat, the Rodoleros uh, just tear apart the war clubs. 40% melee resist versus just a 20 for the clubs, and they also have less HP, and they have the same amount of attack, but that contest is a fight. But Soldier wants to back out for, and he wants to back out, because he's getting seat and bows in behind this. And the healer is not fighting. We certainly replenishing HP of his units, and that's just a very nice use of the, one of the treasures out on the map. Soldier coming back in once again. 
I'm going to put pressure on the house. Roger sit at the back at the moment. Can't really engage this. 700 coin does come in. Um, Miko's going for stagecoach training batch of five musks. Uh, Miko needs to wait for the musks. If he's, if he's going to push, he needs to wait for the musks. But I think Soldier's got just so much stuff here. He's just got stuff. More stuff than Miko can muster. The five musks do come out. But the rods have already been picked off. And there's still bows out on the field doing double damage versus the musketeers. This is a really nice uh, engagement here from Soldier. And once the musketeers... With the rod shipment go, I don't really know what Miga's going to do. His deck, he he doesn't have eight pikes. He doesn't have CM. He hasn't really got any other way to deal with this at the moment. Apart from train five Rodoleros and cross his fingers and hope for the best. But I think Migo is down and out for the count at the moment. I think he's really in big trouble. Uh, Soldier's just sieging the houses. Um, always very nice, but with a stagecoach eco behind... Um, the income's not a problem, but I think Migo actually doesn't have the villagers out on the map to even build another house. Yeah, he's 26 out of 20. Once this house goes out, he's 26 out of 10. Not enough woods to do build another house. Not enough re resources to age. And not enough... Just not enough anything. 600 coin comes in behind this. But I think we're just going to go to a very... Um, not drawn out, I think... The writing's on the wall for Migo. I don't see his outs at the moment. He's just trying to try and vilfight at the moment. I think if you've got to do anything, vilfight. Seating Siege instead of picking off the villagers. Pulling them back to keep his forces, um, forces together. I like that you're keeping them together. Uh, a villager punches down one war club. Uh, there's no siege now from the uh, town centre. But you can see Migo's literally resorting now to punching with villagers. But Soldier, what's he pushing in again with? Another... Um, batch of clubs. He's still got 17 clubs and a couple of houses being thrown down but in the face of heavy infantry, they're not getting up. Oh yeah, they actually do get up but the houses will get up but the TC will go down. And I think that's gonna be it. I, yeah, no, I, I can't see Migo doing anything here at this point to get himself back into the game. The TC is down and it's gonna be a brawl between clubmen and European villagers. I think the clubman is gonna win that one and Soldier is going to get his revenge on Migo and take that game. So it's going to be one all to Soldier. Oh no, it's, it's, back, it's back to front. I, come on. I, don't, I didn't know it was back to front when I was um, sent it up. It was, I, I only tested it on the zero. Uh, player one score. Is it? Where is it? Was that the other one? Oh, you know what? I'll leave it. It's it's cute. I like it. So that game there, we did see Soldier playing as the Lakota, doing something different actually. Not going to go for a Cav semi FF at this point. Went for a mid map war hut into club rush into uh, Spain's base. Spain went for five bills first card advanced trading post play. Went for the trading line, but just had an just didn't have enough stuff under his town centre uh, to defeat uh, the pressure coming in from Soldier's War Clubs there. And yeah, in the end, Migo had to tap out Soldier, taking that victory there. You can see once the six um, military population of the Minimen get picked off again, Migo is only having to resort to his seven Rodoleros. He does train a few units behind this, but just didn't have enough mass. I can't help but think a couple war dogs would have been very, very strong here versus the hand infantry of Sue. Where was that explorer? Ex explorer was dead by the war hut and may have wanted to buy back the explorer the coin. But you, Migo could have said that, well, he was desperate for the coin to age up and didn't really uh, think that was um, safe. And, and at the end, didn't have a food for dog production anyway. So, yeah. Nice strategy there from Soldier. That is... I, that didn't even cross my mind when I started this game. I didn't even think that was a possibility. So yes, well played, soldier. We'll go into game number two. And actually, I've just f f got a thought. I haven't got A's mods because I was playing online. A's is just A's. A's. Search. Um, basic. Is it search? 
a browse uh, is basic spectator mod which one is it um i'll try it i'll see what i can get b spec main map b yeah that's it subscribe that b b b b everyone says right cool let me just um check that sub subscribe and download i'll have to then reinstall the uh re not install just back out and load the game that shouldn't take too long search basic come on unsubscribe install mods yep okay that's cool let's go back in and see if we can get this going I was just wondering where the A's mod was. Was it the players forgetting? Then I realised I don't need a mod to see the game, but I need, probably need the mod to process the extra information stored in the game. And that even might help the replay speed. So it's win-win all round for everybody. And why is Jailed inviting me to a game? Go away, Jailed. I'm busy. You know I'm busy. I see the big boy Drongo there coming in with the about 200 viewers um raid so that is a really really nice um hope you had some fun ranking up with sweden i guess uh let me know what your team members are for the 3v3 royal uh, tournament that'd be pretty cool uh ignore the timer guys that's just the script starting again just restarting age of empires 3 aussie drongo comparing his tick size to hazard's tick size they're looking very very lovely I'm sure if somebody's actually on the eSock account, so they can show you their tick size in the chat. Right, back into the game. See, I, there was, I had a list of 20 things to do in preparation for this stream, and I forgot to download a Spectator mod. That is a classic interjection move if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Perez donating the $1 there. I'm from the Burkos, like El Cid, and that's a character from the Age of Empires 2 campaign. Um, I was going to quickly load up Challenge Cup, Soldier Amigo, game number two, just to see if it was uh, me dropping the ball and not having A's as mod. And I'm, yeah, I'll leave that one. I'll, I'll sort that in a bit. I'll sort that later. Did these players play with the map pack on? And you know what? I've got a feeling they didn't. I was going to quickly see, um, skip forward to actually when they send the first shipment, because it should say actually on the bottom uh, when they sent their shipment. And this is probably the fastest way, because they're not upgrading their units, so it's not going to send any techs. Um, who's who's going to get their shipment first? It should be Spain. Spain already sends in it. Um, these boys didn't play with Aces mod on. Ta ta ta. No worries. Right, let's go on to the next game. Load recorded game. Game number three between Soldier and Migo. We already good to go. I think we're good to go. Let's go. No, I said something. Let's see what Noah says. Shift Control G to turn it on. I like turning things on. <laughs> Soldier saying we did, we did. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll have to see if shift control G works. So, yep. Yeah. Game number three. Let us go. Oh, Soldier. Well played last game. I really like that off the ball strategy versus Spain. That's such a big brain of you. Even Migo saying GG from the last game just to emphasize on what a uh, good play. And I'm so excited. I'm seeing I'm seeing Dutch. This is this is going to be so good, this game. Right. Uh, sh control shift G. Control shift in the game. Is that going to be it. Now this is Aces map set 2. I don't know if I needed to have the base layer of the mod as well. It's so awkward when you have to turn these mods on and off to play online. It's just a, a frustrating thing. Um, if not, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. So game number 3 between Soldier and Migo. We have in Soldier spawning into the northeast of the map Malaysia in the colour red plane. Nope, turn off Oh F. In the colour blue, playing as the Hatters is yeah, Soldier. And um, playing as Dutch, we have Migo spawning to the southwest of the map. So Dutch versus Hadden Ashane on Malaysia. Um 
Mika, Soldier won the last game, so Soldier chose to pick his civilization first. I have to be honest, I don't think Dutch is a good counter pick on this map. There are TPs, um, a bit of livestock around is you know, quite nice for Dutch to have uh, to get their bank eco rolling, but I always have a tough time versus Eero. Eero, Colonial, Aena, Tomahawks, quite a lot of Canyon's possibility. Their third age is very strong, and because it's a TP map, I think Eero, the there, there could have been better picks here as a counter pick. But it looks like Migo is going to go for an age one trading post here as Dutch instead of an in base uh, Warner House and save the wood for the bank or house and market and go for a little bit of extra eco but delay that bank. It looks like Migo has decided, hey, this is a two this is a two TP map. If I take one, you have to take the other. And if you want to take stagecoach, you're gonna to have to spend some time taking this down as well. So I like I like the TP play as a it's how can I best describe it having the TP slows your build down but it slows your opponent's build down even more and that's why it's such a good play here from Migo for that age one trading post and I noticed as well he timed it to get the first pass so Migo has done his map homework as well getting that first pass of 82 experience points getting the XP required to send his first shipments and he, he's been no slouch on the map. Nine water buffaloes is a very solid effort, especially with a, a explorer building a train post not out on the map. So this envoy, fair play to him. He's gone above and beyond the line of duty and he's not stopping. He's still running for Dutch and he's getting another water buffalo. <laughs> 11 water buffaloes and uh, water buffaloes, they're the Asian equivalent of cows so these are like the best livestock to have in the game meanwhile a soldier he's eating a water buffalo he doesn't have any more to be honest i think he's just gonna eat it up to eat it to get a fast age up in oh, he's got a dock the dock's camouflage blue on blue i didn't see this pardon me but it looks like soldier is going for oh damn he's going for a very slow age up here he's already up to 14 villages in total, plus the 4 fishing boats. That's 18 vills, 19, 20. Is this a 20 villager age 1 play? Um, he must have sent 3 vills first card. He's hiding his water play very well here, having no water eco. So I like that decision, actually. Um, I don't think Soldier's going to overdo the water eco. Just a nice supplementary um, bit of greed to get away while Migo does his own build. And <laughs> So Migo is kind of like panicked by the possibility of map control stagecoach play early tp soldiers like yeah i'm just gonna make my own dock go for my own water play here and mind my own business actually so it's something which i don't think migo has scouted yet or will scout is oh he's see he's so close he's so close to seeing that that is so close he may have he may have come past that point way before the dock was thrown down but if that was uh, when the dock had already come down, that is so close, and that would give Amigo so much information. He's trying to see something. He's scouting behind the town centre. He sees the travois, but if you don't see a dock, how can you anticipate? Okay, the explorer is here, seen a lot of wood, still doesn't see the dock because who wouldn't build a dock behind their base? It's it's such a logical decision, but <laughs> this is amazing. This is the only point of the map that Migo hasn't scouted the coastline for, and what'd you expect? Ah, there's a dock there! There's a dock! <laughs> Who would have thought there's a dock there? Oh, that's quite funny. Rip indeed. Anyway, uh, Migo, meanwhile, bank down on the age up. He's got the 400 wood coming in. He's sending bank wagon first, meaning he's going to go for the barracks and two houses, or barracks, house and markets. So this is a... Um... I would say this is the standard build order, but I I don't feel I've ever needed to go barracks two houses first as Dutch. I always just don't go 700 wood at the moment, and I've had some great success with it. But the bank is the correct card to send at this point if you're going for the barracks and the houses. Here come a couple of canyas. Explorer sees one canyon. Um, bank wagon, get down please. It builds very fast, but until it's placed down, it's at risk. Bank getting thrown up. Villager trying to get pulled in by Migo manages to teleport through the Kanya and luckily survives a bit of DE path in there and that was nearly a vil kill for Soldier but Migo is going to be absolutely fine still with 11 water buffalo this is a really 
um, nice amount and can allow Migo to go for the livestock pen. Doesn't have to do it fast. Could even go livestock pen on the 600 wood shipments because these cows fatten incredibly fast. But it's going to eat a few just to get the bank income behind us. Right. Meanwhile, let's have a look and see what Sulfur's up to. Five ill. Five ill is coming in from Soldier. Sent the four canyons. First card number one, of course. Now get following it with five ill. Hasn't gone for his own trading post, but his fish eco behind is starting to kick off. Five boats, no gill nets just yet. Maybe he wants to train another four or five boats before thinking about gill nets. But I think just the five boats is enough supplementary eco that Soldier wants. The Warhawk guards in the dock is very nice if you're going to invest in some more eco. But I think if it's just sat there get guarding the five... Oh, six. Six boats. Quite a bit of the hunt is exposed in the front side of Soldier's base. So, something to think about. Villager does get picked off by the four cannons. The four cannons are still alive. And only three pikemen are out. Does have a batch of five skirmishers. Another bit of deep half in. But great wall in here from Migo. Getting a triple bank wall in between the trees as well. And when you have holes in, the, holes in your walls. Cav kind of come in. But maybe only one cav unit does. And three get stuck out. Then you can kind of surround and kill anything that comes in. So real smart play here from um, Migo's base building. Barracks was nice and tight to his town centre, so that wasn't denied by the early four canyons. A lot of a lot of well thought out play is being on display here from both players. So the four canyons into five villagers, still waiting for the all crates of all resources. But actually, considering that Migo uh, Soldier does not have a trading post and does not have a shipment on the way, and he's quite close to the resources, it looks like he's just going to gather for the age up. Training five ANers to deal with a couple pikemen if a pike push uh, came forward. But may have, or could have, shall I say, had a market, sold a bit of the wood, sold a bit of the food, get the early age in and go into Forest Prowlers at an earlier time. Age up coming in behind here. Is now aging up with the Wise Woman. So I like I like how Soldier's aging up with the Wise Woman. If he wants to train more villagers, he's got a dock for that. He can still produce economic units. Doesn't want to age up the Messenger just yet. He's got no shipments. He will have one now, but he doesn't gain too much when he clicked that age up then. The Wise Woman will give him crates. And that crates will allow him to get him some cavalry upgrades, so a Kanya, Elite Kanya, maybe a trading post, a couple of houses, kickstart production of Musket Rider, Forest Prowler, and just give Soldier um, play from there. So in comparison to the first game where he went for the Messenger Age up to the Second Age and then the Wise Woman to the Fortress Age in the face of German aggression, he just didn't have that time for the greedier Age up. In the end, he did but didn't manage to win the game. Soldier this time does have that time to do the Wise Woman, and is going to do that this game. Meanwhile, though, Migo, three banks, Fortress Age, no fourth bank, and he's, he's sending 1k wood, so there's the opportunity for him to drop two banks off that. He's already got the stable production down for the Raiders, and not waiting for the 1k uh, wood for that to happen. So I'm expecting, with that 1,000 wood, Ooh, what text does he have? He does have... No, nope, doesn't have place of mines. He does have hunting dogs, no steel traps. He's getting place of mines now, getting his great coats, as you do. Very nice. Uh, but I'm expecting a bank, couple... I'm expecting a bank, steel traps, another racks, and a couple of houses. I don't think Miga's going to go five bank here. That would be a bit greedy. But whether he's going to go second stable or second barracks is what we need to see. And how he wants to play versus Soldier. Age up coming in now. There's the Age up Twavo. Um Coin, wood, coin, food. So a couple of crates there. Another war hut on the coast. Is he going to invest more into his boats at the moment? Would be kind of nice, but he's still only got the six. Uh, so no extra boats. A bit curious of that placement of that war hut. It's... It's nice as in it's protecting his town centre from a naval attack from Migo. Does he have any of the naval cards? He has three floats, two caravels. Oh, he's, he's sending three floats. Has he scouted it? Has he, has he actually scouted this? 
he scouted the war hut. Is he going to move it across? I think he can actually move it into a place where you don't have line of sight. So I need to test that a bit more, but I think it's possible. Okay, he's moving to explore top side. Uh, so three floats, a very strong naval shipment. Um, one of my favorite shipments. Well, I'd like a deck to see if you had three floats into one frig, because that is really unstoppable. You can't hold that. And it's also nice for Migo because the three floats which come in will idle the villagers, but also they resist a building fire. So these three floats can quite happily sit underneath the war, war hut, the dock, and pick these two units off. He's now seen the fish eco. He's going to go for it. Um, one float scouting forward to see any more fish eco. And the army's pushing topside. He wants to keep his naval army and his land army together, fighting and covering each other at the same time. Um, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling it for Soldier at the moment. Having three Floyds and a standing army to deal with is very, very tough. And this local mass of skirmishers here is just going to pick apart Soldier's units. Soldier just hasn't had the time so far from the age up to get the units out he needs. Another shipment in from Migo. What's he going to send? Probably nine Breeders because he's had the skirm mass for much longer. And he can reinforce quicker and just keeps the skirm safe. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah, he's, get, he's getting the units in queue. Then nine Reuters to overpop. Get some housing behind. And then hopefully get the houses done before completing the batches. Meanwhile, Migo, he's gone for double Elite Forest Prowler pumping. But he's just lost that War Hut. So those Forest Prowlers not coming up. Five being made from the War Hut. Is that a Musket Rider? A Musket Rider being made from the Corral. Does have a really strong mass of skirmishes at the moment 27 not deciding to take the fights of migos skirmishes just yet you know what i didn't expect soldiers to get 27 skirmishes out that's insane he's obviously sent the eight forest prowlers and a major batch of uh, five each from here and then maybe another five here just to get into that territory about 23 another batch of five up to 28 floats putting pressure on some fishing boats the other two are still alive um, Migo, if he wants to, he can use these as a secondary training point. He does. Five skirmishes have been trained from that Floyd. Who needs more barracks at home when you have three Floyds to train from? But this uh, Forest Prowler mass is, is growing. It is really growing, and they're very strong. Especially when the Explorer is nearby. The War Chief coming in. Wind Feather. 1k HP, and also buffing the HP of the units as well. Yeah. Migo, no, no surprises here. Fighting a retreat back to the coast to get into the Floyds. Because otherwise he just wouldn't be able to trade well versus the um, Aero skirmishes at this point. Couple musket riders and forest prowlers in the middle of the map. A trick I like to do, I like to have a hotkey for select all military buildings. And that way I can actively move my waypoint for all buildings at any point in the game. I'm not using it to train the units, but just to kind of manage the flow of where these units are coming from and where they're going to rally to. The Raiders and Skirmishers moving on to the Forest Prowlers. They just want to overwhelm the Forest Prowlers at the moment, but here come some Kanya Horsemen, actually. And because the Raiders got up close to try and deal with the Skirmishers, they've lost quite a few of their numbers. And here come the Cavalry. And there should be enough Raiders here to deal with this Kanyas, but they've now been upgraded to Elite Kanya Horsemen. Hussars are on the way, but they've been misrides in the middle part of the map where there's some idle musket riders are now actually proven to be very very worthwhile but they're not rallying to the fight where he needs the most there's some hussars in but they're only colonial they're not upgraded just yet he could have actually got into the floats and actually kept his skirmishes alive but they've all gone down maybe Miko has misevaluated his military strength and he's pulling the hussars yeah he pulled the hussars back into the fight but he's just trickled hussars in at one by one at the moment if 15 all came in at the same time, that would be very, very strong. Is that a Reuter pop from the Floyds? It is a Reuter pop. Um, Floyds are strong, but they're not the strongest ship. That's a triple kill on the Kanya Horseman. That's kind of cool, though. But it's the Skirmisher Forest Prowler Mass behind from Soldier. Should be able to carry this fight uh, to his victory. And from here, he can push onto the map. He can really put pressure on the hunt. Migo's... Migo's gone for two TP stagecoach. I completely missed that one. My apologies for that. Don't often see Dutch going a two TP stagecoach. How many banks has Migo got? He's got four banks, so he dropped a bank on that 1k wood as expected. A couple musket riders being a little overzealous here. Wouldn't want to see these guys charging in as the first uh, men into a sieve which have 
access to lots and lots of skirmishers. But there's a growing Kenya mass behind here. Ten Kenya horsemen. And that is just a... Yeah. Because the, the thing is, Migo needs both Hussars and Reuters to deal with what Migo... Um, soldiers really got. Skirmishers are nice, but I don't think you can really deal with the skirm mass. So you can't really go for like a cav switch. Does have Reuters. Going to get a big batch here. Only six. Could have got more. But the right clicks coming from Soldier. Could even go for a war dance. I don't see the, the community plaza at home. But here's a big fight. Musket Rise on top of the Hussars. Still colonial. No upgrades here. Elite Canyons. Wants the Hussars go down. And Reuters in close combat as well. Clean pickings on the skirmisher line here for Soldier. Villagers coming in top side just to try and tank a little bit. And even if this army gets cleaned up by Migo, no, if Soldier's army gets cleaned up by Migo, Soldier would have picked off a lot of Vil kills to make it all the worthwhile. And I think this is going to be the end of it. Let's have a look. Skirmishers popping. Does have Minutemen as well. Could train a batch of five Envoy to tank, but the Skirmishers and the Minutemen seem to be slightly late to the party here. And the Canyon is just going to move in and sit on the Skirmishers. Uh, snaring them, denying them retreats, and just picking them off while they can before Raider reinforcements come. But there's no Raider reinforcements, so it was more skirmishers. I think Migo was hoping that the Canyons would have gone by then and traded afterwards. The scores are still remarkably close, so I, <laughs> I think it's just the Dutch eco of the, the banks, the bank score, the score in the trading post is very strong. The, the score in the three floats, they're very expensive units. 600 re resources a piece, so that's about um, from where you see it, 1,800 score in the sea. Um, but yes, I think Migo realised he just didn't have any tempo on land. Soldier could just remass his drop in double town centre as well. Yeah, really, really nice. I, I, was, I was taken aback really by the, the size of this skirmish mass there from Soldier. I didn't expect him to have like 23 uh, forest prowlers at that point. I thought he had a bit less. So when I saw Migo pushing the three floats and his army, I thought Migo was in a great position. But Soldier just smacked him on the land really convincingly as well and made great use of his cavalry shipments. I'm going to say he did send both the six Kanya horsemen and the five Kanyas, elite Kanyas as well. A couple of Hussars uh, going into Soldier's base instead of reinforcing the fight. Soldier also had a couple of units going into the middle of the map. Just everywhere's chaos. A couple of floats fighting as well. I think one fleet was out trying to put pressure on the boats instead of, instead of the fight at home. There's some pikemen having a nice vacation on the beach as well. I bet they're enjoying it. Probably thankful they didn't have to take part in that uh, big battle there. But yeah, a lot, lot of high-level stuff, especially in the early game as well. I really enjoyed um, Migo getting that first pass of experience. He certainly knew the map and knew he had a strategy planned for that. Yeah, good visual production from both until, until that big fight happened. Military unit population. This is where that middle fight happened. It just it was always prolonged and kept happening. A couple of Reuters and Skirmishers trained from the Floyds. But Soldier always had that military mass. And he always felt that he was always going to win that fight. And I was expecting Migo to hop into his Floyds and kind of run around on the sea and try and um, delay the fight into his eco of the banks that the stagecoach could allow him to train more units at that point. But Soldier had the military mass, took the fight won it and was able to then exert the map control and push into his base so yeah a good game good game plan and showing the strength of the age of one dock play from the Haudenosaunee civilization let's move on to game number four soldiers currently two one up he's two one up let's do it player one score is two it's backwards two Alignment, no vertical alignment. Okay, but I need to um properties transform. <gasps> I got it. No, unlock it. Right click transform. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. Right, that's better. Uh, transform. Flip. I want to flip on the. I want to flip on the vertical. The vertical. No, I'm think, thinking like vertical line as a mirror. Uh, come on, why is this so hard? Why am I struggling so much at this? There we go. Round of applause for me. 
Soldier, 2-1 up versus Migo. We're going to game number four. What's the time? Time is... Oh, it's 10 past 7. No, it's good timing. We're not ahead. We're not behind schedule. It's all going lovely. So game number four, Soldier Migo. Let's go. Yeah, I was, I was thinking of if I was to place a mirror line, where would I place the mirror? Would I place the mirror on the horizontal axis or the vertical? But if it's when I play, put in the kind of the mirror vertical, obviously it flips you know, horizontal. So I got that mixed up. Oh, well, you live and you learn and you get better. Let's turn off the fog of war and view lock. We're into game number four. We are on career, the old version of Adirondacks. Migo playing as the Spanish civilization, spawning into the left of the map in the color teal. Soldier playing as the Germans, spawning the right side in the color blue. 20 coin, 30 coin in treasures here. That's going to be very strong for him if he wants to go for the market play. Shift, click, and the deer's getting on the foundation. Move, move, move. Soldier's saying the market's come, come down now. Um, did Soldier pick up a treasure? He's been going down this way. Oh, he's, he's crack-shotted one of the um, Black Panthers and may have may have nearly killed it with perfect micro, but had to see to the uh, delayed market. But 75 food's quite nice. He's... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong screen. He's got, he's got hunting dogs, yeah, and he's just mining enough for the coin. Yeah, I was expecting to pick up both the coin. He's calculated he needs 125 to buy. Oh, he's short! Get your fingers out, soldier. Get your fingers out. What is 85 plus 30? <laughs> he needs another 10. He needs 10 more coins to buy the house. And he's 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 on a timer. He, he, he's on a timer. Um, I know I'm getting overhyped about 5 coin. But actually, Soldier could idle his town centre at this point. He's going to buy the coin. Well, now he does buy it. Set the wagon, build it, please. Yep. He saved himself. Picks up the 75 food. He's going to move to the top side. I know in the latest patch they addressed the number of high level wood treasures on this map. Let's just count. I don't think Spain's picked up a wood treasure so far. No, both players not picking up a wood treasure. We have two tigers, 75 wood. That's a nerf. Two lions for 80 wood. I think that's a nerf. Two lions is usually about like 85. Um, two polar bear, uh, two black bears, 75 coin. That's actually a nice treasure. That's probably well balanced. But it'd be lovely if you're a Dutch. Uh, two Black Panthers, 75 food. German sees it. After dealing with Pablo the War Dog, he may want to consider taking that. But yeah, I only see the two wood treasures on uh, Korea. Not the pre-patch, maybe four or five you may have typically seen. Spain versus Germany. I'd have to say in the latest patch, in DE rankings... Spain feels very strong at the moment, and the fact that they have easy access to Rodoleros or Pikemen, Germany always have the Ulans out in the field due to the shipments. I, it, there's, there's a natural tendency to uh, favour Spain. If you look at the civilization bonuses, you, you tend to favour Spain here, but once Germany gets up to the Third Age, the skirmishers, the war wagons, uh, I, I think the Germans have enough tools at their disposal to deal with the Spanish. One thing the Germans do struggle with, or maybe it's just me struggling with, is the Pyro Haub FF. I've got nukes by that when I was playing Germany, and it felt really strong. So will Migo go for a really aggressive time in here as a Spain player? Uh, we'll have to look at his deck and see what he wants to do. Did go for an age 1 TP house, aging up now with 15 villagers. Decent timing, should age up about 4... 425, I'm guessing. It's the time I'm guessing he's going to age up with 3 Vils first card. Um, 9, 8, Royal Errors doesn't have 12 pikes here, doesn't have the advanced church card. So for all you Pirashiki fans out there, I don't think this is going to be the game for you. Does work on a 80 wood treasure though. Crack shot one line. I think he's just going to take the treasure here. He's, he's got 200 HP. But you kind of have to take it. If you try and kite a line, it, you actually just lose more HP than you really at, wanted to. This is actually going to be close. No, it's not. He's got enough HP. That should be fine. Nothing worse of nearly picking up a big wood treasure just to lose the explorer when the, your treasure guide is only on like 10, 15 HP. But Miga's a good player. He can see that from a mile away. He lives to tell the tale on 68 
HP at that point. Interesting spawn here. Uh, triple hunt, one, two, three. Uh, these two hunts were probably more central and have wandered over due to the natural uh, way hunts move. Soldier may be thinking the hunts on the north side of his map are pretty bare, but he does have a bountiful amount of hunting down to the south. And if Soldier reads the map from what he scouted well, that might dictate which way he wants to push. Uh, he's got one villager forward, and he's going to try and herd this. I think he's trying to play down for this map. Uh, direction and, and try and control that central train post if Spain wants to go for a second one it is the preferential direction he wants to push but Germany coin mines I think he's looking to actually take the top for the coin uh, there's the coin mine I, I was looking on the minimap it was just hidden by the Spanish explorer uh, one two three three coin mines top side two in base you know what there's not a lot of coin on this map a really small amount of coin so Germany has to do it and do it pretty quickly before he runs out of natural resources just lots of things adding into this dynamic matchup it's quite interesting to see Spain do have a second hunt down to the south uh, this central hunts moving quite close as well so that is contestable but it looks like Migos is gonna go for the 700 wood 700 coin 700 wood age up at this point not going for the five villagers like he did in the Arizona game and get nuked by the Lakota Club Rush. I think Migo is not taking any chances here. He's going to go up. Does have market though. Does have his hunting dogs, which is quite nice. So hunting dogs on top of his eco. Migo did pick up a couple of those big wood treasures. Um, Spanish explorer picked off at the back of soldiers' base. So no more dogs, which is actually quite huge. I've I've learned to realize how strong those war dogs get in the third age in the second age you know they're they're all right but in the third age they become very very strong little puppers come to full adults and can tear through german curve as if they're just little ponies age up coming in with the adventurer oh that's the eight crossbowman age up here from migo I don't see much anti-cav here, and his anti-cav, or his pseudo-anti-cav, is the dogs from Explorer, but the Explorer's on the other side of the map. At the moment, the Ulans can just go into the base and not really be contested. But in the in the meantime, Mr. Watch Your Vills is picking up a 75 wood treasure. Five villagers coming out from the town centre. Going to the coin mine. Will scout these two lands. Will he pull them all back in time? Yes, he does. Could actually could actually garrison these villagers into the town centre for the range damage and have those villagers punch in a micro vill micro onto the lands to pick them off even faster. That's something I like to try and do, and then I realise I'm not good enough and I lose two vills. I'm like, why did I do that? Let's look at Soldier's build. What has Soldier done this game? He's opened up three set of wagons, sent 700 wood. This is a somewhat of a semi-FF build, but I don't see the military production behind this. I want to check his regular vill, 0 0.78. He is, he's researched amalgamation um, already as the Germans. That's very strong. Hunting dogs on the villagers, no steel traps just yet. If my map is wrong, it's wrong. That's steel traps as well. It's 0.84 times by... Yeah, that's um, a Steel Traps eco, that is. Steel Traps and the Amalgamation. He doesn't have Kaiser Klein's new favourite card, Silversmith. And I agree to not send Silversmith. I don't think it's that great of a card. Soldier is aging up here with Ex Exile Prince. He didn't even use um, 700 coin to age up, just... Upgrade his coin income, gathered it, and just used the three villagers, three settler wagons to power him up. So, uh, eco FF here from Soldier in the face of standard normal play from Migo, but aging up with the crossbowmen instead of the hussars. Did get a batch of four Rodoleros out in the field just to cover the crossbows. Uh, these are great units versus your lands with their 40% melee resist and 11 with the 3.5 multiplier. Number five Rodolero's come in. Spanish gold first card. Only one trading post funding that income, but Spanish gold. And he's going for the Spanish gold into Rodolero's instead of Spanish gold 1k wood, which is a very... It's not overly greedy, but it's like it's like eco-play Spain like to do. 
A couple of Ulans come in for the herding villager, but that settler is protected by the Rodoleros, and he lives to herd another day. But I'm curious from Soldier, though. Amalgamation, only the stable... Oh, he's, got, he's got an artillery foundry. I was, I was about to say, is he going to go for mercenaries? But he's going Wallwagon Falconet. I've... I've never seen Warwagon Falconet from Germany, especially as in like an opening gambit. Send in 1,000 coin as well, which you can say technically it's a very, very, very strong value shipment. And in this case, with the artillery foundry down, it is the equivalent of uh, Germany's two. It is the equivalent of Spain's two Falconet shipments, shall we say? So it looks like soldier looking to try and get three Falconets, but he hasn't got the wood for the third. And he hasn't got the pop space for it as well. And the, why I say three Falconets? Because three is greater than two. You can pretty easily win that fight. And then you have the remaining Falconets to deal with the Skirmisher Crossbow Rodolero Mass, which is growing from Migo. <laughs> Giving his auntie drop in his surprised emoji. And I'm as surprised as you are. But if you start streaming your own on Twitch, you go in war wagon falconets. I I just wouldn't I wouldn't believe it. I would not believe it at all. I'm not too sure how this is going to work out for soldier because at the moment Migo can literally just Z move right click, yeah right click or Z move, Rodoleros and pick off everything. So, hmm, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, ex I'm excited by this because this is this is like the tension of finding out whether this play from Soldier has worked or not is is is, re is really interesting. Going for the Culverin, could have gone for the third Falconet and just uh, outpower the, the Falconet fight 3-2 to two and then have another cannon to shoot the infantry. But Culverin can put pressure from much longer range. Let's go into Migo. He's sending those cannons because you do when you have all his Rodoleros and Skirmishes protecting. Haven't seen the Rodolero upgrade just yet and he's only massing from one of Barracks, so... We will have to cut skirmisher production if he wants to squeeze that upgrade in. So far, his progression has been the coin nine rods into two falconets. Infantry combat is a possibility, but I'm sure Miga will send eight rodoleros first, or maybe five lancers. Remember, at this point, Migo, no scouting information, does not see the artillery foundry, does not anticipate the falconets from Soldier. Soldier, does he see the push? He does see a couple skirmishers. He's a longer range than Miga. He's got the advantage here for the surprise factor. Uh, but one volley, disappointing. Only one kill there. And uh, here come the war wagons. But I'm just... I'm, I don't know where the meat shield is for Soldier. Like, maybe five dops? Well, if you well, you need a barracks for the dops as well. But you don't see what went for the stable. This is interesting. I, I, I want to see how this works out. But the Culverin, one shot. No reply here from the Falconets. There, maybe one's in range, but one's already killed off. Yeah. But the Culverins can survive a double Falconet shot anyway because they've got so much more HP. Uh, here come the Rodoleros right clicking onto the Falconets. But these are not upgraded. They do not have their veterancy status. One Falconet goes down. Um, both Falconets go down. And then the War Wagons are uh, opened up. Skirmishers and Rodoleros. This is still scary here for Migo. It's just the amount of stuff and how he kind of counter. But soldier oh big batch of three reinforcing war wagons and keeping his ulans back in reserve that's why i liked he kept the ulans in reserve the anti-cav here from migo is very critically low he's double pumping rodolero's now he's got another um barracks he hasn't got that rally point on the the, the second racks that is crucial that is massively massively um, huge in this point. Skirmish is moving forward, putting pressure onto soldiers' villagers. Uh, one Falcon is still alive though, but not for much longer. Ulan's coming down to the south side. Uh, eight skirmishes and three Ulan's popping from the town center. Has Minutemen been called yet for soldier? I don't know, but he's got 1400 food. Could sell a bit for the uh, units, but he's just got so much stuff here. It's the Ulan's, veteran Ulan's, and the lack of Rodolero is coming in and it's going to clean Migo up, it looks like. Oh, not like this, Migo. Not like this. <laughs> and also keeping those war wagons away from the skirmishers, just prolonging their life. It's been some really good unit control here from Soldier uh, throughout this game. And yep, here comes the massive reinforcements of 23 Colonial Rodoleros. A little too late to the party, though. The skirmishers have gone. Losing the Falconet's not great, but losing the skirmishers is critical versus war wagons. And still not being able to squeeze in a veteran Rodolero upgrade. I think is a downfall of this build. It just feels like there isn't time to research, but it's so important. 
20% HP and attack on all those units you had in this fight and all the previous fights. Five Lancers versus War Wagons and Ulans. It's not going to cut the mustard here, unfortunately. Not what um, Migo needs. They'll pull, actually, to go into the coin mine. Uh, these villagers, they're just having a nice day. They don't really mind. There's a couple Spanish uh, mad boys cutting on them from behind. They're just mind their own business, mining coin for the German Empire because he knows he's got Ulans, War Wagons, and Skirmishers picking off these units. And yet, another wave of Spanish infantry cleaned up. It's like some sort of fun game of tower defense this is. Can Soldier hold on for another Spanish wave? But he does have the score lead. He does have the... Well, does he have the eco lead? He, he's got seven war wagons, so 28. No, plus number seven, 35 vils versus Migo's 33. Migo has Spanish gold, of course, but his e villages are not as upgraded as Soldier's. Steel traps on the hunts. Amigo also has steel traps, but uh, Soldier has Amalgamation working on the coin mines as well. Got the top coin mines under control, a couple houses coming down. He's going to move to the middle. He's pushing the south and occupying the middle, so kind of distracting Amigo from raiding his coin mines. But he's also got to protect his only food income, and that's the hunt down to the south. Rodolero's Lancers. Yeah, he can't just push in with the lands, though. If they're, lan if they're Rodolero's, they just can't just push in. Unless you have enough numbers in the anti-cav department. And where are those war wagons? Do they all drop? Oh. He's only got three war wagons remaining. I thought I managed to keep them alive uh, to the end of the game. But I think that's okay. Soldier can just happily remass a big batch of units from all this um, gold gathering. Probably going to sell a bit of food here to get that fifth war wagon out. Cav combat's coming in behind this. Ooh, is it close? He does get the fifth. But he did market trade for a house. Spash Explorer managed to pick off a house. That's really nice. Um, yeah, what I said was um, Soldier was at the market then buying wood for another house. So a house has been put down somewhere. Maybe top side to try and get a line of sight. It was this house here. He's, he's got a nice line of sight of where Spain is. And I think Soldier feels that he's got the military mass. Just needs to play it smart here. Don't overcommit into many more Rodoleros. Uh, Migo has no more rod shipments behind this. Does have Stradiots, which is quite nice. That's a nice, interesting play to go into with the Spanish gold income. But too late, really, for the 1k wood. Not really enough units to make use of the archaic infantry training uh, combat. Only has the 15 uh, rods. They are veteran now. And they don a nice suit of armor when they get veteran. They look so cool when they're upgraded. A couple set of wagons just trying to get out of the way. But this army is on the south side. I'm feeling that Soldier could push um, down the centre and cut the army off. But he's actually going to go for the base at the moment. Looking to... Is this a base trade with no siege or no infantry? You are losing lots of villagers on the south side. You know what, guys? This game's not over yet. I think the comeback's on. Migo is putting pressure on the trading post. Killed quite a lot of um, Soldier's hunting eco. Looking at Soldier's food income. It's absolutely zero. There's no food incoming for Soldier at the moment. He's all on coin. Looking to send Black Riders as his next card, very likely. Does have eight war wagons. Uh, Minutemen have been called, but will get picked off before they can really do anything. Ulan's moving down to the south side to catch the villagers retreating, but it's a good catch here from the Rodolaris. Ulan's having to pull back. Rod's cutting through a couple of these Ulan's. You see, it's what the army is. Soldier, no Soldier can evaluate. Do I, do, do I push or do I not? But he's already lost some villagers, so... The more he delays this, the more this is going to hurt him. Is he going for that? He's not going for the um, Mercs. He's got the shipments. He's spent the coin on units. He's got to fight this. Surely this is going to be the fight he has to fight. Uh, War Wagon's prodding on the Lancers from above, but the Skirmishers picking off more units. These regular villagers, they don't have range resist, so they still are kind of vulnerable to mass Skirmishers at this point. And this rod mass is getting larger and larger. A lot of vills gathering by basically the German base unprotected. But he's just pushing the German coin eco back to the coast. And this is, for for soldier, losing the food by his base not a big issue. He's hunting up the top. But it's the coin mine he needs to protect. The coin income 
fuels the German army. If he loses the coin, he loses the game. He's got the coin and the shipments. Jaegers are on the way. Hessian Jaegers are joining the battlefield. I think I would have preferred Black Riders because Rod Lancer is the combo which everyone dreads. And I think Migo is training more um, Prodolera at this point and War Dogs. I suppose they're both technically cancelled um, by Jaegers. But if you get enough Rod Lancer is just sat on the uh, Jaeger mass, uh, these guys will pick them off in about four shots. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. And he's also, Soldier's also got a lot of skirmishes already. And just tanking out that anti kind of that ranged cavalry would be very nice. Just protect these skirmishers from the remaining Rodoleros. Once the Rodoleros go down, the Ulans go on to town on the skirmishers. But Jaegers also, in this case, have been working out. There they are. They have a, they're going to join up the army nice and safely. They're not, they're not going to get picked off um, really, really early. Skirmishers going to try to engage with German skirmishers, but he realizes he can't take the skirmisher fight now. But Jaegers on the field. And Soldier's going to push. He's going to keep pushing now. He's got that military advantage. Go, 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 is what he'd be telling himself. And Miko's actually thinking, well, if I try and kite and try and trade, it's not going to work. I need to go in. And he's, this Rod Dog Lancer jam is just going to get jammed in on top of the Skirmishers. Skirmishers front line, tanking the Rod Lero fire, protecting the Ulans from the Rods. It's actually a thing to have your Skirmishers in the front line tanking, but now there's Lancers on top of the Jaegers. They're going to get cut down, but not as fast as the Ulans cutting down the unprotected Spanish skirmishers here and now that the uh, Lance has been picked off by the war wagons uh, the Royal Lotus has get torn to pieces by the remaining Jaegers and skirmishers and uh, reinforcing skirmishers are just gonna quickly leave the battlefield as soon as they join and that's the game and soldiers won that game the, the score was 3-1 soldiers won the series GG's and a lot of a lot of good stuff was seen from both players throughout that series a lot of I can tell Map preparation has been a thing for both players. Uh, that last game, though, I, just, just a build from Migo, not being able to squeeze in the second barracks at an earlier time, not being able to squeeze in the earlier Roleros. Warwagon Falconet, is this a new meta from Germany? I don't think it's going to last, but it's a really nice surprise mechanic here from Soldier. Certainly caught Migo off guard. Uh, that is crucial in tournament games, it's not necessary to play standard. And it's worked out well and really good control on keeping a war wagon mass and Ulan mass alive there. So when he came back in, once the Rodoleros were gone and cleaned up to pick off the skirmishers, and you can probably see that in the post game on the military tab. Yeah, Migo pushing in, but Soldier taking much better trades than Migo. The big batch of reinforcing Rodoleros do pop out and cross the map, but they join the battlefield at the possibly the wrong time. Soldiers already survived the Spanish push. Slightly stronger eco with the amalgamation. Has all the XP from the fights to send in any more shipments. And just increases mass. Amalgamation bills out on the field. Gathering all the resources he needs. Able to remass. Uh, Migo did get a decent mass in as well. But you can see Soldier investing at 1k coin and a shipment into mercenaries. Was just that power spike he needed to utterly demolish the Spanish army. But yeah, that game was very was very close on the Spanish push in the middle part of the game. But Soldier play was to close it off. That could have gone any way earlier. Rodoleros versus Falconets, War Wagons. That's a risky business there from Soldier. Oh, I, I don't think I'd hard not to go War Wagons, Falconet. But Soldier's made it work and it was really fun and enjoyable to watch that. So creds, credits to Soldier there. And that concludes week number one, Group D series between Soldier and Migo. Soldier defeating Migo 3-1, to one, and I'll give him a nice big 3 on the scoreboard just to finish off.